Hi, this is a tutorial video on how to use the software CTOS for psychometric analysis with classical test theory. Uh, CTOS is not itself a standalone software, it is just a programmed uh, Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Um, but I've done this to make it easier for uh, non psychometricians to use uh, because most people are familiar with Microsoft Excel for basic data analysis and manipulation uh, and uh, um, data management. So uh, you can see CTOS is divided into five tabs down on the bottom, instructions, input, calculations, main output, and option output. Instructions, as you see here, just provide some basic instructions on how to use the platform. The input uh, is where you can input your data. So all the blue cells allow you to paste in your data. In this case, it's going to be A, B, C, D uh, responses from a multiple choice exam, as well as the option to put in student IDs like you see here on the left. You need to have something in the student ID columns because certain calculations are based off checking that there is an ID existing. You don't need to do anything else on this platform or on this tab except for pasting in your keys as well. You can see up right here on the top in the orange. The calculations tab you do not need to touch. It's locked. It's just where all the calculations take place. Uh, the main output provides uh, the primary psychometric analysis. You can see it's got a graph of the score distribution. Uh, it calculates the uh, individual person scores over here on the right in terms of the number of questions that got correct. Uh, it provides item statistics that you see here. Uh, so P is classical difficulty, that's the proportion of students that get an item correct. 0.94 would be very easy because almost everybody got it correct, 94%. Whereas 0.40 would be very difficult, only 40% got it right. Which is really low when you think about it because there's a 25% chance of guessing. Uh, RP biz is point by serial. Uh, so that is a common uh, index of item discrimination or item quality. Uh, if this is zero, it means that the item is just producing random data. It's not actually managing anything. If it's negative, it means that the item is like completely bad and that the smart students are getting the item wrong and the not so smart students are getting the item right. Usually that's indication of a missed key. And uh, the higher it is, the stronger the item is. So these items that are a little low, like 0.18 means it's all right, but it's not a very good strong item, whereas items like 0 0.49, 0 0.45, uh, these are very strong items. It provides us the number of students that got the item correct, the number of students that got the item incorrect, the average score uh, of those who got it right, and the average score of those who got it wrong. Uh, and then lastly over here it provides some really important summary test statistics. Um, if you're familiar with the classical test theory, you know that uh, KR20, or coefficient alpha, is the most commonly used index of test reliability. Um, in this case, it's a scale of zero to one, where zero means that the whole test is producing random data, and 1.0 is that the test is producing perfect measurement. Uh, we don't ever have perfect measurement in psychology or education like we do with you know measuring a you know the mass of a object like you do in science. Uh, but on the other hand, if you can get up to 0.9 or higher, that's actually pretty good. Uh, the standard error of measurement is also an important. Uh, uh, index from classical test theory. You can see that there's a, a brief explanation provided here. We've also got the minimum and maximum scores, standard deviation of variance, uh, the mean score overall, number of items on the test, and the number of examinees in the database or in the sample set. And it provides some uh, mean uh, and min-max values of the important statistics, the P and the RP biz that we talked about over here. So what happens here, uh, if you want to use CTOS to actually improve your assessments, uh, first of all, check out some of these overall test statistics. Make sure that KR20 is sufficiently high given that your test length, if your test is only like 10 or 20 items long, that KR20 is not going to be very high. Uh, so don't worry about it then. It's not the fault of your test necessarily, but the fault that you only have 10 or 20 observations. Uh, then you can look at the item statistics. Uh, you can see that it's automatically flagging items that have low RP biz, in this case below 0.20. Uh, so you can try to find items that are uh, too confusing in this case, having the ORP bits. So we've got item 1 and item 32. Uh, then you could go to the option output and try to figure out what exactly is happening. Uh, so you can see this is transposed now so that items are uh, columns. Item number 1 says that 94% uh, of the students got it right, which is a, uh, leads a point by serial 0.18. And uh, this answer also had a positive point by serial, so that's why it was flagged. But uh, that's only because that three people got it correct. Maybe one or two were really high-performing students that just got lucky, or unlucky in this case, and chose A, the incorrect answer, rather than C, the correct answer. 
On the other hand, uh, 32 was also an issue. Let's look at that one. Uh, so in this case, uh, that was low here as well. And all of the incorrect answers had a negative point by serial, so that means that item is probably okay. Um, if you were to find an item where an incorrect answer had a negative or a positive point by serial, that's usually indicated either that there's uh, a key error or that the question is too confusing um, or that this distractor is just really attractive for some reason to some of the candidates. In some cases, you might have two possible correct answers. And in those cases, both of them would have a positive point by serial, neither one of them necessarily strong. So if you uh, need to look at uh, a deeper uh, guide on how to use this, there's a web uh, manual posted on our website. If you go to the webpage assess.com slash CITAS, C-I-T-A-S, uh, there's a link there to uh, download the manual. There's also a link to download CTOS. It's 100% free, so you can just download this and use it yourself to improve your assessments. And as you note down here in the bottom here, uh, this is limited to 100 items and 100 people. If you have larger data sets or need more professional functionality, I recommend you download Itaman or Excalibur. Itaman produces automated psychometric reports in Microsoft Word using classical test theory. And Excalibur is the same thing, but using item response theory, which is a much more advanced, sophisticated, and powerful psychometric paradigm that's used by most large-scale assessments in the world. Thank you.